Cheers. Happy New Year. Ah, we're in the 20s. We're in the 20s. Okay, in celebration of a new decade, I thought it might be kind of fun to take a look back on the previous decade. And since I am oh so fortunate to have a very accurate uh, time capsule, if you will, of all of my greatest hits of the last decade on television, we're gonna look back at some of my best, and I use that term loosely, dance mom fashion moments. Clearly I am now a fashion icon. <laughs> I can't even say the words. I can't even say the words. All right, I may not be a fashion icon now. However, I've stepped up my game a little bit. I think the kids are calling that a glow up, but I've had a little bit of a glow up. I don't know. All I know is that when I look back and I see some of these outfits, I want to crawl under a rock and die. However, luckily they're available on the internet and on reruns. So, I also just wanna state for the record that this is probably just volume one of this because I feel like when I was Googling and finding old images of myself, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of content out there to be discussed. So this could just be one of many in a series of roasts. Okay, so I was gonna to try to do this in chronological order. There is no rhyme or reason. There is none. You know, Google just brought up some various images. And I also wanna point out that I'd like to know how many of you, when you Google yourself, the like third thing that pops up is Christy Lukasiak pregnant. No boys and girls, I wasn't pregnant on Dance Bombs. I just ate a lot. I ate all of my feelings. So I was just a little bit chubby. So I was just eating my emotions, that's all. No biggie, that's all. I wasn't pregnant, stop Googling it. Because now it's in there and it's coming up all the time. It makes me feel bad. Oh, there's so many to choose from. I'm just going to randomly select one. Oh, and it's a good one. Okay. My first reaction to that look is that I'm wearing the same color in this video. So clearly I like the color. However, what I am missing are my Elsa bat wings and sequins embedded into the threads. <laughs> I was Elsa before Elsa. Like, why am I not singing Let It Go? Seriously, it's like drapey, I'm sort of wizard-esque. I mean, I will be honest, the hair is not horrible. We have much, much, much more offensive hair later in the seasons. However, still very, very, very like tight, root dyed blonde. Um, this one, this doesn't offend me terribly, but it is a little like Elsa-esque. I would say on the offensive scale, this is like mid-range. It's not too bad. But I think at that time I was like, I, I think I was invested in wearing a lot of sequins. Yeah, that one's not terrible. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. Oh, okay. It's a gif. Okay, now when I see things like this pop up, uh, it's obvious why all of you are Googling Christy Lukasiak pregnant because Ah, oh. <laughs> first of all, I, I, I was clearly, um, I was emotionally eating at that point and drinking a lot, I'm sure. Um, and uh, I, I'm not sure where I found a uh, gold lame trash bag for a skirt, but I did, luckily I found it and I wore it, luckily. And I had that like smooth back poof kind of situation happening with my hair as, most drag queens will go through that phase. So I was just channeling my inner drag queen. I I have to make a note though that even though I'm wearing a gold lame trash bag skirt, Jill is wearing a silver satin suit. But she's her own episode, so I'm gonna kind of skip through her. Okay, you actually did not see this dress on the show, I don't think, and I don't think I ever wore that dress on the show. However, I did wear it for a bunch of press. And when I first saw that photo, I was like, oh, it's not my favorite. But then what caught my attention were the bracelets on my arm that I thought was a hospital admissions bracelet <laughs> because it was just this like big thick chunk of a bracelet. I was like, 
was I in the emergency room the night before and forgot to take off my armband? Clearly I did not. I was like into this whole chunky bracelet situation happening. And I'm wearing in that photo the shoes from Teen Choice. I told that story a few episodes ago, or episodes, what am I talking about? I told that story a few YouTube videos ago. Those are the shoes, you guys. Yeah, I mean, that one's not my favorite look. It's, it's, it's low on the offensive scale. I have much more offensive looks coming up. So we're gonna, we're gonna give that one a pass other than the bracelet, but I wanted to point out the shoes. So let me get a little sip. Are you enjoying this like little trip down memory lane? Should I do more? I mean, there's plenty that I can talk about. I could do a whole episode on bangs alone. Okay, oh, all righty. Okay, um, I was, and still am a big fan of dresses. However, I have a thicker middle part section area and I don't think wrap dresses are ever gonna be a good choice for me. So I sort of look like I was going to be a waitress in maybe fantasy land or um, maybe like a theme park that wasn't quite Disney, like a, like a low rent version of Disney. And I look like I'm in sort of like that Mary had a little lamb land. That's kind of what I'm looking like. But I do want to point out that everybody else in this photo is also wearing like drapey watercolor situations. So it wasn't just me. Again, yeah, that, that's, that's my like Mary had a little lamb situation, I feel like, happening there. I fortunately got rid of that dress. A lot of these things I still think are in my closet, which leads me to believe that I need a closet cleanup. Okay, this is where shit gets real because what um, I, I'm either going for one of two things in this picture. I'm either going for clown, like, you know, with the little collars, you know, the clown collar, or I'm going for like King Henry the eighth's one of his wives, probably one that got beheaded because I'm clearly like channeling my inner Anne Boleyn or Elizabeth the first. Like I, I, it's my, it, it, Victorian nod, my nod to the Victorian era. Um, I don't know why I ever would think all those ruffles were a good choice. Like, were we doing a clown dance? Was I giving a little nod to whatever was happening on the stage? I don't know. All I know is that that was a no. I should not have been wearing that, but yet here it is. Recorded in the annals of history, thankfully. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, let's see, what else? Okay, first of all, I'd like to note that I'm actually standing there like in prayer position. <laughs> I'm like praying in pyramid, which isn't probably too far of a stretch. I was probably playing like, please God, make me a bird and let me fly far, far away. <laughs> like, I just hated pyramid so much, hated it, oh God. I have like anxiety just thinking about standing there. And Thankfully, I had a skirt that was long enough that I could just like hunker down in it and hide and like fly far, far away. First of all, I'm wearing a skirt that's made out of like that bouncy stretch fabric and then I have a tube top on. I'm wearing a tube top in public and not in public, I'm wearing a tube top on television. Like that is just bad choices all around. Why, why, why? This is one of the reasons why I really wish that social media had been more prominent early on because like I've just taken one look at myself on social media and read your comments and been like, oh girl, no, like let's just hit them all. Let's make some better choices. Like let's give you a makeover. I mean, these are all bad, but I don't know. Like the floor length fuchsia, like bouncy rubber skirt is just, it, it's a big no. That's a hard no for me. That's a big no. <laughs> and the tube top, like, who owns a tube top? I do. Or I did. I don't any longer, I don't think. All right, well, apparently I was auditioning for the fifth member of the Beatles because I look like I am from the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Land. I look like I am from Sgt. Pepper's album cover in this photo. And I'm quite certain that I'm wearing a matte gold sequin tank top underneath my Sgt. Pepper jacket. So, I mean, the hits just keep on coming. I'm like, I have the little puffed hair in the back. Although again, we're not into the tragic hair zone yet. That comes much later when it's obvious, like I look like I'm wearing a wig into, on television at all times. It's really tr quite, it's shameful. Like I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed, ashamed, ashamed. But yeah, so that was my, I guess that was my band period. That was my like, you know, 
I really wanted to be a beetle period. So there we go. There we have it. That is one of many moo-moos. Moo-moos were like my go-to dress of choice because I thought I could hide all of my secrets under ruffles and long skirts. And really what I didn't realize I was doing is I looked like someone who was trying to hide all of their secrets under long skirts. Um, I thought maybe the leopard print may have provided a little bit more camouflage. It did not. So I think the way I was shopping back then is if it had animal print, ruffles, or sequins, it was a thumbs up for me. Today, those standards have changed a little bit and I am so very grateful. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad, you guys. I'm ashamed. Oh, now we're moving into one of my favorite periods and that is the cold shoulder era. I think, I'm actually, I don't think, I'm certain that there was an entire year that not one of my shirts had shoulders, ever. It could be 33 degrees below zero and I was in Pittsburgh and my shirts were missing the shoulders because shoulders are a little superfluous. Shoulders are a little unnecessary. Like who needs fabric there that provides warmth? Not me. Give me a cold shoulder shirt, especially one with some really hideous beading on it and I'm on board. So yeah, that was, uh, that was the era of the cold shoulder. There's, there's lots of those out there. Lots and lots of those that we can talk about and discuss. That one, that one might have been my ugliest though, I have to say. It was sort of like this watercolored print with a face on it and then it had like some mirrors along here that had like puff paint surrounding them. It was a good one. Claire is sitting here because she wants to hear my entertaining stories. And she wants to be ashamed of the things her mother used to wear on television. Oh, she's mad and just death staring me because I wouldn't let her be in my video. All right. Oh, it's another moo moo, except this time I tried to make a belt, make it look like it had a shape. So it's kind of counterproductive thinking. Like I took a big fat shapeless dress with color blocking, orange, which I never wear orange. And I'm like, let me put a big brown woven belt on top. <coughs> Tightened that thing up, went to an event and I thought I looked good. Who let me out of the house dressed like that? I'd like to know. I, I hope... wasn't a lot. Well, I was, but I was very, very young. I hold Chloe responsible for that. Chloe, it was your fault. Oh, <laughs> that's a doozy. I, I feel like this could have been my, my tribute to Corella DeVille, or was I trying to frame the crystal necklace with the um, fur collar of the periwinkle faux polyester fur? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I, it was featured prominently. And then I had like some teased hair that clearly looked like there was some Aquanet happening in it. And um, just a lot of no, like this is just wrong on every level. And I'm so sorry that I offended so many of you on television. I'm sorry, I please apologize to your eyes for me. I had no business wearing this and I will promise, I solemnly swear, I will never wear it again. And I don't own anything even remotely close to it. So I, Hope you guys enjoyed this little walk down memory lane and I'm sure that I will have others that we can talk about. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me talk more about some of my questionable choices that I made on TV, because I'd be glad to oblige. And I'll see you next time, bye.